Good day everybody. We're going to uh, take a quick performance look at the new video game Black Myth Wukong. It's a visually stunning game and very demanding on hardware. So we're going to see what the 4070 Ti Super can do with it and take a look at some of the different technologies that are involved with that uses AI like the DLSS, uh, FSR, XESS. Compare them, look at them a little bit visually and um, just see what the performance differences are. Let's get at it. Welcome to UberClock. Now, initially, I'm thinking the different uh, AI technologies or frame generations would have a slight difference at 4K maximum settings in this game, but really they didn't. Uh, they all struggle uh, with this particular video card, the 4070 Ti Super. Uh, despite having the extra memory, as you probably already know, it doesn't have the full bandwidth that's coming from the same as the 4080 that it that it's cut from. So today we're going to witness that. It, it really needs that extra bandwidth, I believe. But either way, none of the... Uh, Technologies perform differently uh, unless we start looking at super resolution and, and adjusting that down because at 4K, the 4070 Ti Super is not going to run this game, at least not on maximum settings. So really what we got to do is find that sweet spot of good settings that allow playable frame rates and nice visuals. So this first set of benchmarks are going to be basically... The game on maximum settings, uh, 4K resolution with no frame generation turned on. And the super resolution is set to 100% on all of them so that they're rendering at native resolution of 4K. So let's take a look at these videos now. As you can see, the performance doesn't really change between the, the different uh, AI technologies and frame generations. They're all relatively same when you're set at native resolution with not really doing any generation. But let's take a look at the DLSS with super resolution turned down a little bit. We're going to do it in three steps, 100, 
and then down to 75 and 50 percent and now this is with frame generation on so we're going to see what happens with the frame rate there So NVIDIA's DLSS does offer some performance advantage, but the graphics are a little bit, they're not quite as crisp, so the textures are not as, uh, not as clean. Uh, to show you that, I'm going to give you three more uh, benchmarks or another segment of video where we're going to compare DLSS, FSR, and XESS with frame generation on and super resolution at 50. The idea here is to get it at a playable frame rate so you can see a fluid game and see the differences between these three. I didn't bother with the TSR because it's not very different from the rest. And most people are going to be interested in the technology that revolves around their video card brand, I suppose. But uh, we'll see. If you guys want, just let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.
Now, as you've noticed, I'm sure if you've paused the video and studied some of the images, you'll see the differences between them. It looks like FSR and XESS actually have a little bit better image quality. There's some other things too with uh, frame generation. On, I noticed some flickering in the open sky areas in between the, the blades of uh, grass or leaves in the trees. It's some kind of weird interaction with frame generation and maybe volumetric fog or something. But I only noticed it with frame generation on, and I'm sure if you go back and watch, or you may have noticed it yourself. But that's a thing, and it seems to get better with better frame rate. So it's exacerbated by performance issues and lower frame rate. But it is way pronounced when you first turn that on if you've got the graphics cranked, at least on this video card. Um, 4090s might not see this because maybe enough power there and memory bandwidth to run the game smooth and it won't be noticeable or noticeable at all. So leave some comments below. If you got a 4090 and you're not seeing this, uh, there is one other thing to remember uh, in this benchmark. They warned that this particular benchmark tool, which is a free tool that you can get from Steam, isn't necessarily exactly equivalent to the game itself. And as they patch the game, I'm sure that some improvements will be there for performance and maybe some visuals. Um, some other things that I didn't like in the game, at least in this demo, was um, they've got some type of weird focus thing going on where the, some of the peripherals a little um, hazy or blurry looking and, and it's an effect of the game and I've seen it in others and I, it, personally I don't like it. I usually turn off all the motion blurring and turn off any kind of field of depth of field and all that stuff because realistically if I look over into that corner in that particular frame and I see the blurriness it's it's distracting to me. Performance wise you're going to need to turn on frame generation with the 4070 Ti Super or the lower and it seems like 50, between 60% and 50% is the sweet spot, at least for me. I can turn up the rest of the graphics and turn on frame uh, or uh, super resolution, turn it down into that range and get acceptable frame rate. If you're super worried about uh, your monitor syncing at 60 hertz or higher and you want those higher frame rates, then you're just going to have to sacrifice more. Either going to have to drop the super resolution further or start turning down those graphics. Um, during the benchmark runs, Every one of them are all set to cinematic, which is the highest level in this game. Just take a look and experiment and let me know what you think in the comments. And you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for dropping in and taking a look at my video.